Hey, what's up everybody? This is your girl Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous today. I'm doing well and I'm here to do a review of the 55th 55 annual Grammy Award. Go ahead and like this video. I would really appreciate it. Make sure to check out all the links in the more information tab. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Taylor Swift, she opened up the show. Okay, we I never, never, never. You can sing along with it, but Taylor last night, boo boo. I don't know what you were doing putting pop because it did not register to me. You were flat as four flat tires, boo boo. It was not working. The vocals were off. The dancing. She was trying to get into the audience and came back. I didn't know what you were doing, baby. Please call Lorianne Gibson because I don't know what happened. That is my opinion. Taylor has done some good performances before, and she does pretty good sometimes. But last night. I don't know what happened, boo-boo. She was showing a little thigh. I don't know if that made her a little nervous or what, but it was too many people on stage. I was, uh-uh, to be such a big production, she ain't do nothing. My boo-boo, LL Cool J, he was the host, and he had on that nice little buttercream suit looking like he was ready for Easter. I loved it, boo-boo. Um, shout out to you, LL, but baby, you are so long-winded. I was like, LL, it is time to go, Puddin'. I don't have time for all of this, but shout out to him. I really enjoy LL Cool J, not just because of the looks but um yeah just because of the looks he was shouting out everybody in the audience um of course Beyonce she was throwing up gang signs for Houston and uh, that was nice did y'all see the dream behind her looking ratchet we're gonna talk about that in a few minutes let's keep it pushing okay Ed Sharon and Elton John they performed together and they sounded really really good Elton John he had on a suit from the Bobby Jones collection I loved it and those party city glasses yes honey Elton gives it every time and he gave you a little a little spike right here not too much Ed gave you a little I took my hat off and forgot to brush my hair so it was you know they matched it was great yummy pit bull oh I love me some pit bull oh my god Ooh. Pitbull and Jennifer Lopez. She doesn't go by J-Lo anymore. She is too mature for that. But J-Lo came out. She had that leg out, honey, and that arm. Okay, I've been in the gym working on my fitness, right? And that's what I want my thigh to look like. J-Lo put her thigh out like what? And it's not going anywhere. I appreciate that, Jennifer. You keep doing that, Puddin' Pop. You keep doing it. They presented for best solo pop performance, and that went to Adele. As far as what Adele had on, oh, Lord have mercy. I want to know what Joan Rivers thinks about this, because it was a travesty to me. But shout out to Adele. She's, I love her acceptance speeches. She's very to the point, and I love her. But the outfit last night, mm, -mm. Fun performed. I love fun. After seeing them last night, I really enjoy how they are they're a, they're a lot of fun no pun intended but they're fun they all had on capris they were performing in the rain and i thought they were gonna get electrocuted but they didn't so um shout out to the staples center for whatever they were doing last night bonnie ray and john mayer they introduced miranda lambert and baby boy who she was performing with i forgot what his name was he was sitting in that dress honey i just have to say that the song it was good at some parts and some parts they were a little pitchy miranda she was trying to dance but you know how you be trying to groove to a song she she, she couldn't pick it up like she tried to throw her hip into it but it wouldn't work out too well Miguel and Wiz Khalifa they performed and I was so proud of Miguel because every performance that he's done the best one to me has been his Soul Train performance and just check him out live because he's amazing his album was amazing and shout out to him for getting a Grammy and yes you can tell that I'm a fan because I love me some Miguel Wiz Khalifa he came out in his jailhouse rock Jodeci suit and it was very different um, Miguel he was thrusting and giving me everything that I needed so I'm glad that everybody had a chance to hear Miguel for 0.25 seconds. Now, I do approve of the Grammys letting people do snippets, but they really gave Miguel and Wiz a snippet. Everybody else, they sang a little bit longer, and I was like... Uh. They presented for Best Country Solo Performance, and that went to Carrie Underwood. I love me some her. She is so beautiful, and she has been doing ever since American Idol, and she's been taking that country music and running with it. Faith Hill and Tim McGraw, they are so cute. They presented for Song of the Year, and that went to We Are Young by Fun and Janelle Monae, and they went up there, and Janelle, she was just sitting there chilling. I was like, girl, if you don't get up there and get your damn Grammy, are you crazy? She was just sitting there like... Oh, what? Johnny Depp, aka Tangerine, that's what I called him. Um, he introduced Mumford and Sons, and they be getting it. Beyonce and Ellen, they introduced Justin Timberlake. I loved how Beyonce and Ellen were together, but Beyonce, she was like, I'm not taking my eyes 
off of this teleprompter. I don't care what you were doing, Ellen. Ellen, you can tell she's used to it. She does it every day. But Beyonce was like, Lord, if I mess this up, oh God. Justin Timberlake. I cannot wait for his new album, The 2020 Experience, to come out March 19th because he did Suit and Tie and a new song last night and it was amazing. I have to say, Justin, he tore it down and I loved it. He was hitting all them notes. He was just doing everything for me and I really enjoyed his performance. I have to say, it was one of the best of the night. Shout out to Jay-Z for just getting out of his chair, doing his little verse, coming back down and sitting down again. That's what you do putting Bob. Next, Kelly Rowland came out as well as Nas. Uh, Kelly, you better work putting. Kelly, you were given last night. She had on one of the best outfits of the night. I have to say that. She was giving it to me. And I loved it. Nas came out. Um, he was trying to read the teleprompter too. Didn't really know what he was doing. Best Urban Contemporary Album. And that went to Frank Ocean. Chris Brown was like, this is some bullshit. That's pretty much what he was looking like. Frank Ocean came up. Shout out to him for winning a Grammy. That's awesome for your first album to win a Grammy. That's great. And everybody was giving him a standing ovation. Best Rock went to the Black Keys. Maroon 5. They were performing. They are one of my favorite groups. Y'all know I love me some Maroon 5. They performed with Alicia Keys. And Alicia, she was giving me Sheila E. And I loved it. Alicia, she was on point tonight. Y'all know I be dragging Alicia Keys in the mud half the time because she be missing them notes. But she did really good last night. I have to say, Girl on Fire, I looked at it a different way last night because she was singing. I appreciate it. And shout out to Adam Levine for helping her out. Best pop vocal album went to... Uh, Kelly Clarkson for Stronger. Baby, just say thank you, Jesus, and get off the stage. Sometimes people don't say enough, and sometimes they say too much. She was trying to hug the first eight rows of the audience. She wanted to say everything. Let me shut up, because when I win my Oscar, I'm going to do the same thing. But still, baby, just uh, uh, write it down. Write it down. Rihanna and Baby Boy with the pretty voice. I can't remember his name. They did a rendition of Stay and it was really, really nice. I enjoyed it. Rihanna, she was giving it to me. She wasn't all thrusting. You could tell she wanted to thrust real quick because that's what she normally does. Shout out to Rihanna for just sitting down somewhere and singing. Kudos to you, baby girl. Carly Rae Jepsen, Call Me Maybe, and Neo. They presented for Best Rap Collab. And that went to No Church in the Wild. That's with um, Jay-Z, Kanye West, The Dream, and Frank Ocean, huh? I didn't know all of them were on that song except for the dream. I didn't know the dream was on there but of course they all came up and uh, Frank Ocean he did his little blurb the dream his cocky self I cannot I can't get with the dream sometimes he was like you know the last time they cut me off and Jay-Z was like I'm getting ready to show you something shout out to that knit cap that you got from the swap meet everybody was like yes um that's what you get the dream that's what you get because I felt the exact same way about that knit cap Mm -mm. That was a toe bargain, actually. The Black Keys perform. They did pretty good. Kelly Clarkson, she paid a tribute. And if she didn't do that, you make me feel like a natural woman. She was giving, honey. She got into that thing. I think she was thinking about her boo thing. And she got all warm and fuzzy inside. And she was like, let me, ooh, I'm going to sing this. She presented for the Best Country album. And that went to the Zac Brown Band. So next was the Bob Marley tribute. And first came out Bruno Mars. You know I love me some Bruno Mars. He does everything for me. And last year at the Grammys, he just slayed. And this year, he did great, too. And big shout out to my new crush, Philip Lawrence. Oh my God. He's one of his background singers. Oh my God. He wore the glasses and the hat too. Oh, he is so fine. I love me some him. And he just be giving it every performance. Sting came out as well. Sting, he was trying to get into it at first, but he, he was like, hold up. I'm going to get in my groove in a minute. And then all of a sudden he got into the groove. And then here comes Shama. They started doing the tribute to Bob Marley. Here comes Rihanna and Ziggy Marley. And you know, Rihanna, she wanted to just dutch him on real quick, but she couldn't, she couldn't get down. There, she was like, Nah, I ain't gonna do that tonight. I would just sing this song and go on about my business. Ziggy was bouncing everywhere, and then came Damien Marley. Honey, I love me some Damien. Damien, he just do something to me. He all scruffy and stuff. I like that. But all in all, I enjoyed their performance. Everybody was up, dancing, getting it, and I enjoyed it. So it was a really, really good performance. The Lumineers came out, and everybody was enjoying that song. I actually enjoyed that one as well. And Baby Boy, he was getting it with that tambourine. He was serving that tambourine and that one cymbal. What? Best new artist went to fun. Hunter Hayes. He better sing. I love me some Hunter Hayes. He introduced Carrie Underwood. And I must say, Carrie Underwood, she's just in a league of her own. Baby girl does great every time she sings. First she started out like a Barbie and then she was morphing into a Power Ranger. It was amazing. Carrie, you did that. Prince, he presented for Record of the Year and he looked like, uh, whatever. 
I don't even care that I'm here right now, but I guess they just asked me and I think I'll show up. Whatever. He has that nonchalant, maybe I want to be here, maybe I don't, but you're going to respect me because I am a legend. He presented for Record of the Year and that went to Gautier and Kamara and uh, for somebody I used to know. And I love that song and they were so grateful and I love to see artists like that. Even Baby Girl that looked like she was Peter Pan's sister. It was amazing. You know, they always have to have a memoriam. It was okay, but I'm just mad that they didn't have um Whitney at the end again that was the voice okay I'm not gonna uh, y'all know better Grammy shout out to Mavis Staples for hollering the whole time and growling and giving me this yeah 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 I loved it I hollered the whole time she gave me my life she gave me my life I loved it Mavis, you better give it to me. Thank you. Frank Ocean performed for the first time on the Grammy stage. He performed Forrest Gump, and I thought he was going to slay. He didn't do nothing. Um, I don't know if he was nervous, if Chris Brown was in the audience. Um, his headband was too tight. His ears weren't in. I don't know what happened, but baby boy, the vocals, they were off. Like, he was somewhere, and the vocals were somewhere else, and it just didn't tie together. Baby, I hope it goes better for him in the future, but... Mm -mm. Adele, she presented for Album of the Year and that went to Mumford & Sons. They had a really good night last night. And LL Cool J, he ended the night. I thought he was going to do a whole mix of all of his songs like Bad, Lounging, um, Headsprung. I thought he was going to do a whole big old mix. He didn't do nothing. I didn't know what was going on. They couldn't get the sound right in the beginning. And I went to use the bathroom, so I don't know what happened. But all in all, it was a pretty good award show. It was better than last year. Grammy Awards aren't like they used to be. They used to be bomb but now it's just like oh okay down below in the comment section i want to know what you guys thought about this grammy award show put your favorites down below let me know who you didn't like who should have did this who should have did that i cannot wait to see your comments and i will definitely be commenting back to you guys be sure to like this video definitely get into gym spot tv that's our sponsor for this video miss trey the gym definitely gives really really good reviews I love her just because she's really real when it comes to her reviews. She doesn't put any icing on it. She doesn't say things that she doesn't mean. She's just real deal. There you go. Definitely check out her Grammy review. It is hilarious. And she is breaking down the fashion as well, honey. Yes, please get into it. But definitely check her out. Her link is down below in the more information tab. If you're on your phone, definitely open it up and you can just click it down below. And if you aren't, go ahead and click this annotation that is right here and it'll take you on over there. Definitely subscribe to her and be sure to comment on her videos and show her lots of love. If you would like to be a sponsor of my videos or if you'd like to advertise, send me a message. Head over to misspeed.tv and send me a message through there. Or you can inbox me with a YouTube message. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Share this video with all you know, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless.